us. Hello Shotokan family, welcome to this class. Today we're doing only one thing, and this several times, and it's Heian Sandan. So we're focusing on Heian Sandan, doing this over and over again, focusing on different things. <clears throat> Let's start doing what for warm-up? Heian Sandan. Let's not be too fast, but just let's do all the movements in a relaxed, but uh, focused and uh, attentive manner. Ready? Yoi. And itch. Hey! Hey! Yoi. And Ray. And the oil. Let's go a bit deeper. Not faster, not more energy, just a bit deeper. Hey, and Sandan! Hashime! Hey! Hey! Yummy! Yeah, and Ray. Okay, now we've done twice, once slowly mindfully and once trying to focus on going deeper. Now let's focus on what you're actually doing. Ray. Yoi. Eyan Sandan. Hashime, sink down on your right foot. It's not important to move outward. Sink down. Stay sink down. Now what you do is you pull yourself with, from the opponent. You pull yourself towards the opponent. <laughs> Stay down. Stay with the core engaged. <laughs> Again, there's somebody from the backside. Down. Pull yourself to the opponent. Now to the left. You don't want to reach out too far. Now the nukite. Push from the hips. <laughs> now this complex movement. Turning your hand and then going backwards in Kibodachi with a Tetsui Uchi. Hey. And an Oitsuki. Hey. Pull yourself forward. Now Mikatsuki Gary and down. Again, <laughs> are you in this correct Kibadachi? Yes. <laughs> Make sure you have Hikite. Your elbow is really tucked. 
Then you pull yourself towards the opponent and K in the punch. Eee! And you push from your left leg outwards. Eee! Make sure not to have your elbow too high because then you would hit yourself. It's a hit backwards, for example. Then get back. Yummy. That was some insight. Was some insight in what, into what we can focus on during a hey and sound down. Mainly important for me is focus on keeping your body weight down, having a correct stance, and pushing yourself forward with a engaged lower belly. Let's focus on what we're doing with the hips this time. What are we doing with the hips? Hey. Yo. Hey, Jan Sandan. Focusing on hips. Hashime. <coughs> I focus on pushing hip, hips down, having your, my body weight sink down. Now coming with the hips first. <coughs> Again. I push my, my arm out with my hips. Here, what are my hips doing? <laughs> so, for the movement of the Mikatsuki Gere, this can come from the hips. And then. <laughs> This is not an arm movement, this is hip movement, right? So the hip chain turns and takes with it all the upper body. <coughs> and with it, this arm. <coughs> and with this movement, you can also try to engage your hips. <coughs> so that this is not an arm movement, but look at my hips. Okay, let's do it, this thing again, but do it for yourself. So in your own time, do hey on Sandan and focus where can you add some hip movement? Where can the movement, the technique and get, um, come from the hip? Where does the, how can you invest your hip movement into having a clean and powerful technique? Right? Yoi! And Sandan! Hashime! Okay, let's do hands on then again, but let's focus on initiating each movement extremely fast with full body engagement, for example, or mostly lower belt, lower, lower belly engagement, but then a break. So in the end, 
router will be very, lo very long, but just because of these breaks. Yo, right? Yo, hey, on Sandan. Hashime. I mean, right? Yo, host. Let's do something completely different. Let's do the opposite. Let's have a flowing, fully relaxed kata. Stay low, but don't over engage. Do it really slow and in a flowing motion. Ray. Yoi. Ayan Sandan. Hashimi. Hi. 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 Ray and Joey. Let's repeat this. Focus on what you're doing with your feet. There were some irregularities in my katana right now. I want to focus on what I'm doing with my feet. Is this correct? Is this the most efficient way to move, to step? Do that too for you, please. Again, no, no force, little energy, but a lot of flow. Us, Ray. Yoi. Ayan Sandan. Hashime. Hai. Okay, let's do this again, but let's only focus on our feet. You can do whatever you want with your hands, just do the normal cut, but focus on your feet. It's not important if you do an error or mistake or whatever with your hands, no problem. Focus on what you're doing with your feet. Where are you turning on your heel, on your ball? How are you switching from Kibadachi to Senkutsudachi? What is it you're actually doing with your feet? That's the point of this, the next rundown, the next kata. Ray. 
And let me change the direction. Ray, Joey, hey on Sandan, focus on feet. Hashime. Hey! Okay, let's go one step further and only focus on your feet. Let's try to get rid of the techniques with your hands. Just ignore them. You can start doing it, or if you don't know how it's going on, how, what's the next step of the cut is, you can do it. But the, the, the aim is to get rid of the hand techniques and only focus on your posture, your movement, and your feet. Os. Joy. Ray, Joy, Hey on Sandan, Hashime. Yame and Ray. This is very interesting. For me, this is very difficult because my brain focuses so much on what my arms do, do and my upper body. But it's a good, mm, a good exercise to just focus on what your feet and your hips do when you just try to get rid of your arms movement. Let's do this again. Ray, Joy, Heian Sandan, Hashime. Yame, Ray, Yoi. Again, let's do this again. Start, try to do it a bit faster with more energy. Try to incorporate the Kiai that comes from the lower belly. Ha! Oh! Ha! Oh! Hey! Okay. Us. Ray. Yoi. Hey, on Sandon! No arms movement. Hashme.
Ray. Yoi. Okay, so we focus on different parts now in the Heian Sandan. Let's put everything together and do Heian Sandan normal speed, good focus with hand techniques. Os, Ray, Yoi. Hey, on Sandan! Hashime! Ray. Yeme. Again, let's do one run without your arms. And then the last one with full energy. And then we're done with this class. Right? Yoi. Hayan Sandan. No arms. Hashimi. And yoi. Okay? Last time, full energy, full speed. As if you would do it in the exam. Ready? Here, in this right position, just focus on how are you standing. Are you lumping? Is your head forward? Is your head back? Ideally, you should push out your hips a bit, have your lower belly engaged, and have your head centered above your body, shoulders backwards. Right? Yoi. Ayan Sandan. Hashime. Yummy. Right. Yo. Okay, that was a class about Hey and Sandan. If you felt the same thing, for me, the beginning was rather slow and um, some insecurities there. 
but with enough repetition. At the end, I was pretty comfy, uh, um, confident again uh, about the techniques, about how I do it, about how I move, and this is the way it should be. I hope you felt the same, and it was a good class for you. So let's move to the cool down. Let's chalk slowly in place. Focus on extending your, working your uh, feet. I have some problems here today. Okay, let's stretch the front of your upper leg. Do not look at the ground, but look forward if you have balance problems. Make sure you don't lose the stretch. Okay, switch. Let's stretch your calves. Take a wall if you want. Push the wall. Feel the stretch in your calf. This is also a flexibility and a mobility exercise for your foot. Switch leg. Do some butterfly stretches. Balance on your balls, on your ball of your foot. So this is a balance exercise too. You should feel the stretch inside your groin here. Try to keep a straight back. Okay, let's sit down. Stretch our hamstrings. We didn't do a lot of kicking today, or actually no kicking in this class. Anyway, it's important to keep our flexibility and mobility by stretching. Switch sides. On your feet and stretch your shoulders. You can really pull here with your hand. Switch side. Do another shoulder elbow stretch. Pull down on your elbow. Try to get as low as you can with your hand that's behind your back. Let's not forget to breathe in your belly. Switch side. And time. So Shotokan family, this was a class about the uh, Heian Sandan, things we can focus on. Um, I found it interesting to just leave away 
the upper body techniques and just focus on your stances, on how we, how we move. And also interesting that sometimes, I mean, I've done this like hundreds of times, I forget what the next stance will be because it's all in my brain, but it's all combined, the stances and the stepping with my hand techniques. And if I leave the hand and arm techniques away, then it's not so clear that it's there anymore. So I really have to focus on that and uh, try to imagine what's going on. Also, I hope you liked the class and uh, see you in the next class. Los.